Hi, my name is Ken with Sled Track, and today we're going to do a little overview and review on on off trail tracks. Uh, what is an on off trail track? Just as it sounds, it allows you to enjoy trails, but also do some of that boondocking and off trail when those ideal conditions permit, which isn't always in you know, upstate New York, New England area. A couple examples I have here to show you are, is the storm without the studs. This is a two ply. It has inch and a quarter on the outside lug and inch and a half in the middle. They're a wide stable base. They're quite firm. These work really well in you know 50-50 on off trail. Uh, they're not super deep profile so things aren't heating up like your slides and your breaking lugs. In comparison we have the 9312 Ice Cobra, which is a 1.6, which lends itself a little better to off trail. As you can see, these lugs are softer. It's more of a scoop. Uh, also, there are studs embedded in it for that on trail traction and braking enhancement. You have to decide what type of on off trail you will really want to do. Uh, if 50 50, 40 60, 37 and then make a decision from there and what part of the country you are and what most conditions you ride in the storm is going to have a little better cornering manners because of the lower profile on the outside and that's how camzo designed it whereas the cobra is going to lend itself better to more off-trail boondocking conditions if this isn't enough for you, you want more off trail, maybe 80% off, 20% on, and then you need to look at the backcountry back X or backcountry, which I don't have here. That would be an inch and three quarter, which is designed primarily for off trail. Some on trail to get there, but really works well off trail. Uh, if you have more questions, you want to look at specs, go to the page with our on off trail selection. Go to sledtrack.com. If you have more questions, you can email or give me a call. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. If I don't know, I have people that I can ask. Thank you.